It's been 10 months since I did the video on how to make an automatic watering system for wicking barrels and we've got it all set up for this year. We made two changes and one repair. The first change was the way we connected the reservoir barrel to the float valve bucket. Last year it looked like this. Cut off end of the hose jammed through a grommet into the reservoir barrel and then the other end threaded on to a hose connector to the float valve. This year the end that goes to the reservoir barrel just didn't want to stay sealed. So we replaced the grommet and took some half inch CPVC pipe and put a half inch national pipe thread fitting on the end of it. And then onto that we attached a, an adapter to go from half inch national pipe thread to hose thread. We pushed that pipe through the grommet into the barrel and then we made a hose to connect the new fitting to the float valve bucket. And that took care of that problem. It's, the leak is stopped. Last year we connected the float valve bucket to the first wicking barrel like this. It screwed onto the wicking barrel on the left and the hose, the cutoff end of the hose, is just jammed through a grommet into the float valve bucket. And we had a minor problem with that last year. The cooling and heating of the hose worked its way around and moved the hose and eventually the hose came up above the water level in the in the float valve bucket and we didn't realize it and the system lost water. So I made an identical fitting like we just put into the reservoir and uh, pushed it through the grommet into the float valve. The grommet in the float valve bucket isn't the same as the one in the reservoir barrel so the pipe was a little loose. We just wrapped some electrical tape around the pipe and pushed it through the grommet and got a nice tight seal. Put another hose end on the uh, hose that was already there and connected it all up like this. The one repair we had to make was replace this washer between the side wall of the barrel and the hose adapter. Overall all the fittings held up well. The rubber washers look pretty beat compared to the grommets. Uh, the rubber washers were just a cheap rubber washer. The grommets were uh, military grade rated for all kinds of hazardous chemicals and waste and stuff and they held, the grommets held up very well. We planted the cabbage and the cauliflower the end of April, the beginning of May, I'm not sure and everything else went in on May 12th. So far we've used 113 gallons of water and most of that was just to prime the system because if you divide 113 by 15 it comes out to about seven and a half gallons a container. Overall, we're quite happy with the entire setup. It lasted through the winter, no problem. I didn't, I didn't think it would have any problems with water freeze and thawing in the bottom of the barrels because I've got another 35 gallon barrel on the other side of my house that's full of rainwater that I never empty and the thing has been out there for, let's see, how long has it been out there? Eight years and it, and it hasn't cracked or anything. We will be adding more barrels to the entire setup and I've got a couple of ideas I'm going to try on one or two of the new ones. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you found it interesting. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you liked it. Thumbs up as usual. Greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.